Hi, welcome back. This is Zoe Zoe Chat here on YouTube. And today I have my final haul from the bins from last week. And I'm excited to share it with you. Um, I think I'll start with what was probably the best piece. This is a women's quarter sip better sweater in Tasmanian teal. And this was lying right on top of a bin because right here was a giant stain. I put it through the wash one time, sprayed it with a little Dawn and it came right out. So I'm so glad I took the chance. Looks great and it is ready to go. And it is a Patagonia women's size medium. And I was really excited to find that. So you know, since I got it at the bins too, I can accept a slightly lower offer and undercut the market a little bit and still make a really nice profit. So excited about that. Okay, this was funny. I saw a woman pick this up and then she put it back. And so I took a look at it. And this was new with tags, and this is called Kulani Kinis, and it's a bathing suit brand. And this is just the bottom, but it is new with tags. And at the bins, I think this cost me a dollar. And it's this really fun pink and green floral print. And um, I Google it at the bins, and it looks like these are relatively expensive. So excited to find that. This one I just dropped. This is gonna go for like $10, but I don't even care. If you know what this is, you know. This is Soul Cycle. This is the bike wheel. Soul Cycle, it is size medium. It's just like a big arm tank top, but it is color block. It's orange and white and purple. It's cute, and again, it cost me a dollar. This also cost me a dollar. It will probably go for like 10 to $12, but I just couldn't leave it. I don't get a lot of banties. I saw Red Hot Chili Peppers. I recognize the graphic right away. Wanted to grab it. This is a size large on the Bay Island tag. I have no idea. I haven't looked this one up, but I will. But again, I'm sure I won't get very much for it, but it cost me a dollar. T-shirts and tank tops are a dollar. So I'll take it. This one I just saw in a bin and I was like, oh, that might be something. And it is. This is Market Smiley. And this is this like gray blue, I guess it's blue tie dye with just smiley faces on the front, on the back, on the sleeve. It's a size medium and it looks like these resell for maybe over $30. So again, this was a dollar and I don't know t-shirts, but it's funny one of the t-shirt guys saw me with it in my cart and he sort of gave me a look and I was like, yeah, that's mine. <laughs> Okay, these are like new without tags. You know, they still have like this from where they held the back tag. And these are Torrid Premium. They are the Trouser Slim Boot. And they are a 22 regular. And these are great. They're like a trouser jean in this dark wash. Again, I really don't think they've ever been worn. Oh no, they haven't been, they're new without the tag. Cause look at that, 22 regular, even better. And they have a nice big boot cut. And I haven't sold toward jeans in a while, but I feel like this style will do okay. So happy to grab it. All right, this I saw, and I love anything that has like the little popcorns on them, these sweaters. And this is green, which is my favorite color. And it has a puff sleeve, which I love, and a big balloon arm. And it has popcorn just on the back of the sleeves and the back is just smooth. And this is a great plus size brand and size. It's Eloquii size 1820. And I saw that and I was like, you know what? I love it. I don't know, maybe I'll wear it. It's a little warm here, but I don't know. Maybe I'll wear it. We'll see. We shall see. But I really like it. Okay, this next one is another one that I saw and I was like, that looks like something. And I looked it up and it is something. I think it's sold maybe a doll's kill. It's called Apparition. And it has this like funny like bunny and a tutu. It says Apparition. It's just this big black sweater. And it has this big label on the side, Apparition. And I looked this up and um, I think it'll do okay. I'll probably get more than $30 for it. So I figured I would try it out. All right, this is so funny because when you've been reselling for a while, you can spot one of these like a mile away. And I just saw like the sleeve and I was like, oh, that's We The Free. And it is, and this is 
We the Free, size large, and it is this blue with these fun, these are like a big bell sleeve mixed media with these exposed seams all over, super boxy, like, like a handkerchief hem. So, and I can say no to that at the bins either. All right, these have a little bit more wear at the bottom cuffs than I realized when I was there, but that's okay. These are men's American Eagle size 33, 32, original straight, and they're in a nice light wash. And I'm gonna run those through the wash, just get those hems a little bit cleaner, but everybody steps on their jeans. I don't think it's a huge deal. This was fun because I don't know if you watched my bins haul from like the previous week, but I found this exact same coat. So all I had to do was update the listing. This one is a size medium. I think the other one I have is a small and it's this great black quilted longer length with a little bit of a cinch on the back waist and these three buttons at the collar, like for a stand up mock collar. And so that was really easy. I didn't even have to take new pictures. I just added that to the other listing. All right, not that many things left. Okay. All right, I did get a couple of books. I got this alphabet book for the love of the Red Sox for my cousin's baby. I love to read to her. Mostly she just eats the books, but that's okay. I got her this classic, The Ugly Duckling, because I found out she doesn't have it. And then I got another alphabet book and it says A is for Art Museum. And this book is just beautiful. And B is for bridge, and it has the Monet bridge. You know, E is for eyes, and then it has all these cool eyes. I just thought this was so pretty. And, uh, you know, they love to read, and these people are very artsy. H is for helmet. So I think that they'll like that. It's just a beautiful book. All right. This I got because it just, like, I know, hmm, it's got a couple spots on the back that I didn't notice. But I know, like, manuals and books like that can do well. And this is Daylight Handbook 1. And I looked this up on Amazon, and it retails for $38. And it's just about, like, photography lighting. I don't usually sell books, but I figured, give it a try. All right. Uh-oh. I don't know where my one pair of shoes went well i'll just tell you about them and then you can imagine them uh but this oh so <laughs> next to the patagonia this was definitely my best find this i saw this is white and warren new with tag and this is a cotton silk ribbed a-line navy skirt and it is just fantastic white and warren is a very expensive brand i was so excited to find that and It'll be fun to see how that does. So the pair of shoes that I misplaced, unfortunately, are just a pair of the classic like dance go sandals. They're not very attractive, but it's the right season. And if I find them, I will list them. I'll probably get 30 bucks for them. Um, it was a really rough day at the shoes, as you can maybe tell from my um, thumbnail. It was a really aggressive day at the bin. So I sort of just did my best and that was what I came up with. And I think I still did okay. So let me know what you thought. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss. I'll go back to the bins definitely next Wednesday. I don't know if I'm going to keep going Wednesday, Thursday, Friday because that's kind of a big commitment. But I did for the last two weeks and I always like to share with you guys what I find. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.